we dive into the big questions this time on the show. We answer an email from a listener. What should the AIO team do with Eugene? When, if ever, should Odyssey end? Should Connie get married? All that and more this time on Adventures in Opinion. All right, let's get right into the big questions. So, Rebelde emailed us again, and she asked us if Odyssey should end. What do you think, John? Well, I don't want it to end, but obviously at some point in the future it will end. So I guess for me it's more of a a question of like when it happens, how would I want it to end? Because I don't want it to end, but obviously it has to at some point. It can't go on forever. Yeah, I agree. So when it does end, I'd probably want it to end kind of like they were intending Darkness Before Dawn to end because they were initially planning for that to be the last album of Odyssey. So I'd want it to go out with a bang, probably. like And go out on a high note with some good episodes. Yeah, finish up some arcs and have a big triumph over evil, something like that. If you have a question you'd like us to answer, a topic to discuss, or feedback, then you can email us like Rebelde did at questions at adventuresandopinions.com. Now, back to her next question. How should the Odyssey team deal with Will Ryan's death? In my opinion, or my adventure in opinion, I would uh, like Eugene to not be replaced and they could deal with his death on Odyssey because I don't think there's any way you can replace Eugene. They've done it with Wit, but Wit hasn't been around for 33 years as an actor on the show. Any of the Wits, they haven't been around as long as Will Ryan was. I don't think there's any way they could bring back Eugene and make it sound genuine or believable by the fans. Mm-hmm. One person I know suggested that they have lots of voice clips of Eugene and they could just use those to keep him for quite a few more episodes. And they have done that kind of thing before, even with Eugene, when Will Ryan was gone. But I don't think that's very sustainable. It wouldn't last for long. And really, I think... And it wouldn't feel real, I don't think. Yeah. The best thing I can think of would be for them to kill off the character of Eugene. Because if they would have him, like, go to Africa to stay with his father and brother, then Katrina and Buck would kind of have to go with, too, because that wouldn't make sense for him to just move away from them. Yeah, I wouldn't like him to just... Like some people have suggested just writing him off the show and having him go to Africa or something like that, like you were saying. And I think I'd rather just have them kill him off, to put it harshly, kill him off and then we can deal with the repercussions of his death because otherwise you kind of always have the like the question of if his character will ever come back, even though we, we know it won't. But in that universe, Eugene would still be alive if they just send him off to Africa instead of just ending his story and we don't want to get rid of Katrina and Buck Buck was just adopted in Eugene's last episode with original lines I think then it would be really interesting to cover like Buck and Katrina being a single mother after and being a widow after Eugene died that would be an interesting story yeah they could finally do the episode Ripples they were going to name the episode where Connie's mom died they were going to name it Ripples but then they changed it what was that going to be about it was just the episode where Connie's mom dies they were going to call it Ripples I think oh so this would be Ripples but with Eugene dying yeah something like that yeah So, do you think Connie will ever get married? Probably, eventually, if Adventures in Odyssey keeps on going for many more years. But, I don't know. Like, right now, it doesn't seem like it'll be happening anytime soon. What do you think? I don't think it'll happen as long as Phil Lawler uh, has a say in it. Because he seems very clear on the subject that he doesn't want it to Connie to get married because it would change her character too much. And he said that they, like, ruined the character of Eugene after having him get married and stuff like that. But I would like to see her get married because it would just be interesting to see and explore that, like, side of it. Because uh, we didn't get to see that really with Eugene and Katrina because they left before they they weren't on the show as newlyweds, really. Yeah, because that and then was during And Connie the we Nova saw Club. right up until her marriage, and then it didn't happen. Yeah. Rest in peace, Robert Mitchell. 
Okay, Rebelde didn't ask this, but I thought it would be an interesting question. Do you think Wit should last forever? They've already re replaced his actor twice. They could just keep on going. It seems like it's probably not extremely difficult to find a replacement, as they've done pretty well twice already. Yeah, I think they easily could do it again if they wanted to, but I would rather have them also kill off Wit eventually. Hopefully it would be a few years before that happens since we just lost Will Ryan, but I don't want like Wit to just keep having different voices because eventually they're going to... Like Andre Stoika, I've listened to enough that when I hear him, I think Wit, but yeah, he still isn't Hal Smith and Paul Herlinger. Their voices were close enough for me that I kind of categorize it the same way in my mind. And it's yeah, different than people, Andre Stoika. I've heard some people said they didn't even notice that they changed the voice actor to Paul Herlinger. They've just listened to Hal Smith and Paul Herlinger episodes back to back and didn't even notice that it was a different voice actor. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, if I'm tr if I well, obviously, if by what episode it is and the timeline, I know which episode, which wit it is. And I, c I can differentiate between the two in my mind. But if I'm not thinking about it. I just think it's the same wit, but I can't listen to Andre Stoika's wit and not think that that's a different wit. Yeah, that's true. Because it is for me, but yeah. What do you think? Should wit live forever? Hmm, that also depends on when Odyssey ends. Yeah, I think that's a good point. It's it's possible to have Adventures in Odyssey without wit, and they could totally do that. And it, I liked the period where Jason and Jack took over instead of wit after Hal Smith died. They could experiment with something like that, and if it doesn't go well, then bring wit back with another voice actor. But I think it probably shouldn't last forever. If that happens, it would be really cool to have Jason, and then this time it would probably be Jason and Wilson, Wilson. Knox. Yeah. Taking over Wit's End, and that would be really cool to see. Yeah, we've already seen some Jason Wilson interaction in like the Olivia arc, and one in of three will fall. The, uh, what was the fishing one where they wanted to go? Fathers and Sons. Up? Yeah, Fathers and Sons. That's a good episode. Again, you can email us at questions at adventuresinopinions.com. You can also leave comments and read the show notes at adventuresinopinions.com slash 007. We'll have links to everything we talk about in the show notes.